What are you, blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. Fucker. Accuse me of impropriety. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. This is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi, yes, I'm just calling to let you know that um, Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up for the rest of the day, and he's coming in early for his appointment. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. 
worth a try. Yes, I mean, I question it only due to the amount. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. What's that? 
It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. This is the one. Where's this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Beauty and happier days. And her man. Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. Yeah, that's her all right. Long time ago. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well... Maybe it's time that changed. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. My buddy. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. I bet Red Riding Hood doesn't miss me. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. This means tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. 
Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me... show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. To stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fable Town business. And we can be persuasive, if necessary. Or... you can. 